Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to import and use presets on Premiere Pro. For this example, I'm going to be using my golden editing pack bundle. This contains two folders. So starting with the shake and transition pack, you can see that there is a Premiere Pro presets file here. To import this preset, I'm going to head over to my effects panel on Premiere Pro and then head over here where it says presets. You want to right click and then select import presets. So just click it, locate the folder with the preset. So Enger's shake and a transition pack, that's where it is. And what you can do is double click or select open. And now I'm going to give it a search. It's going to be in the effects panel once again. So if I just search for Enger, as you can see, my presets have now appeared. You've got combinations, fast zooms, rotation and warp and also a bunch of shakes plus even more presets down here which are part of the bundle you've got more shakes text presets and much more now let's learn how to use these presets as you can see i've got my clip ready right here so you can either drag and drop the preset directly onto your clip so for example let's choose twitch shake 2 this one right here so i'm going to drag it onto my clip now you're going to notice that there will be some problems. So if I just play it, it looks good, but there are some issues. So for example, at the top here, you can see the clip goes out of frame. Now, in this case, it would be better to use an adjustment layer. So if I remove the presets from my clip and head over to the project tab, what you can do is right click anywhere here, new item, adjustment layer, this one here, and click OK. Now place the adjustment layer on top of your clip and depending on the preset and clip duration you want to extend it anywhere from 5 to 30 frames this preset here twitch shake 2 works best at 15 frames so 5 10 15 i'm going to extend the adjustment layer and then try again so i'm going to apply the preset onto the adjustment layer directly as you can see it looks much better than before so remember it depends on the duration of the adjustment layer now this is a premiere pro issue sometimes effects don't really like to work with each other so for example i've got a heavy shake too if i add this onto an adjustment layer you can see it's not working at all but if i were to add it directly onto my clip it works fine and it looks really cool some presets work fine so for example you've got smooth x shake i can add it onto an adjustment layer and it will look okay same goes with the clip so if i add it directly onto my clip instead it looks perfect there are no problems and the clip looks fine thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace